Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the last time I'm and today we're going to take a little look-see at a game called Door Kickers. Now, what the hell is Door Kickers? Well, it's apparently an innovative real-time strategy game that puts you in charge of a SWAT team and lets you command them during tactical interventions. Now, I think what this is, um, based off the mission that I've played, it's it's kind of, it's got similar mechanics to games like uh, Frozen Synapse or Synapse, depending on, where you, depending on where you hail from in the world, ladies and gentlemen. Um, it does feel like Commandos to me as well, if any of you guys have played Commandos, the, the old Commandos games. Or even, I guess, some of the newer ones, but they're pretty poor. Commandos 1 and 2 especially. So, it's all about planning out what you're going to do, and it's very unforgiving, like it's really difficult. But I think uh, we'll get into the game. But, well, before we get into the game, I'll show you this. So, this is like your squad build-out, uh, or your roster. So, if we look at these guys, you can see some of, like, this guy and this guy, they've been promoted. Um, to a police officer, they're no longer just a rookie. Because I've used these guys on two missions, okay, and you can see now they've kind of got slightly better at doing whatever they do. Um, but what we, what you probably notice as well is we don't have any weapons. Now, this is because I don't think we are a class, okay? Everybody's a point man, if you look, which is the pistol. So this is the guy that goes first, presumably the guy who can wear the heavier armor and stuff. Uh, but I'm sure we'll work that out. But yeah, I think we... Well, look, we need to get the squad level to level 4, and we're not even halfway through level 1 if you look at the top of the screen. Uh, because we'll, we'll do that for obviously doing missions. The other thing you get as well is stars. Now, I've got one, okay. What this does, or what they do, is allow you to actually purchase items. So, you can see this 911 pistol, or well, 1911 pistol, costs 5 um, stars, but we, we have one. You know, body armor costs different costs. There seems to be quite a few items, which is pretty good for building out your different, kind of like, uh, your different classes, I guess. It's almost got like a an ex commie vibe to it, or like a Zeno Nort vibe to it, where you can build out your your guys with different equipment and stuff for different purposes as well. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'll well I'll show you the fact that we can't get into a campaign just yet because we need to be level six, and as I've just showed you, we're like level half one, well 0.5 I guess half one. Uh, okay. Also, it does have Steam Workshop support. Um, and you can download campaigns people have made. Also, through the single mission thing, which is what we're going to do now, because this is kind of like, I think, the advanced tutorial. Um, there is a mission generator, but we're not going to use that. And uh, there's downloads again, or your creations, because there is a map editor. Okay, so, what I, you know, we'll do this again. Uh, one moment, I'm just going to clear my throat. <coughs> I apologize, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen. So, uh, yeah, we're going to clear the house. So, all we need to do is take out these tangos. I prefer to call them x-rays. <laughs> so there's like, what, five guys there we need to take out? We have a challenge as well, which is if we complete the mission in real time without pausing, that'll be good, but also pretty hard, and uh, use a single plan to complete the mission, which we won't do because... You no, know, maybe we will, actually. You know what? Because I think I, I kind of know the layout of <laughs> what's going on. All right, so we're in pause mode. Now, this means that we're paused in the, the planning kind of tactical thing. So nothing's going to happen in this, so this will allow us to sort of take stock of the situation. So we've got two guys, okay. Both of them the same class. We need to go into here, clear this room, clear that room, kind of clear this corridor and clear that. We know there's five guys as well. So, well, what's the first thing to do? Well, I think the first thing to do is we'll grab this guy and we'll move him there. And we'll move him there, all right? Okay, so we know there's a guy there, right? So I'll pause the game. Now, what I want these guys to do is I want them to move there, but I want them to move at the same time. So we're going to use the alpha code, okay? Now, this means they'll both take the action at the same time, hopefully, right? There we go. So he got shot, which is bad. So he's injured, but uh, it's not totally the end of the world. Now, I'm going to pause the game again. Because we've got to think about what we're going to do next. So, there's most likely a guy in here. I mean, no, for a fact there's a guy. I think he's over here somewhere. So, what we need to do is kind of breach this room. So, I think if we sort of move him there. Move him there. And maybe change the way he looks. And we'll just move forward. On target, no tangos. Okay, so we know he's the injured guy. So, we don't really want to send him in first. But we also know there's a guy around there. So, what can we do? Well, I think we can chuck a flashbang. So we're going to lob a flashbang, sort of there, okay, uh, and I want him to kind of, okay. I don't want him to double back on himself, what I've just ordered there, I want him to move 
straight there, and I want him to... Oh, I've done it again. Uh, no, hang on. What I'm trying to do is trying to make him face the other way. It's not working, though, because I'm... Ah, because I'm an idiot, ladies and gentlemen. It's left click, and then it's right click. There we go. Okay, so I want him to face that way, because if there's a guy there, which I presume there is, I want him dead. Uh... He may get flashed, actually. Ooh, this could be bad. Like, maybe I should have used the orders. I'm, I'm not going to fix it, just so you guys can see what's going to happen. Yeah, so that was, like, total catastrophe. I flashed myself. Oh, and he's been killed from over there. So you can see how unforgiving this is, ladies and gentlemen. One little mistake, and we've been taken out. So we know this guy over there. <laughs> so we've just... Oh, we're not actually injured. Okay. All right. Yeah, it looks clear. Looks can be deceiving. So, we're going to chuck a flashbang in there. Okay, so he's just thrown the flash. Okay, now I want him to move there. Because I'm pretty sure there's a guy there. I want to take him out. And then there's a guy here as well. I don't know if he's got any flashbangs left. No. Good job. Not really. Not really a good job. Apparently, I did it better than I did before, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> that seems hard to believe because, well, yeah. So, look, apparently you can do that in 15 seconds. You can see I'm not the best at this, but, uh, right. Okay, so next mission. I've not done this mission before, so this is stacking rooms. Okay, eliminate all terrorists. So, complete the mission without pausing and use a single plan. Well, okay. You see, like, it gives you incentive to go back and do the mission again to try and do it better and better and better, which I kind of like. Alright, so we've got two guys again. Um, uh, you know what? I think we're going to just... If we just move up a little bit. We're going to chuck a flashbang in. Because it. it's kind of a big room. It. Do it on Alpha. And then I want you to go... I think I've just ordered that on Alpha. Yeah, yeah. So, see, he's waiting. He's waiting. Actually, that was a nice shot. I don't know why he's not chucked this flashbang. Hmm. What the? This guy's just taking everyone out. Just send him in. No, don't throw the flashbang. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't know what I've done here. Now he's... I think he was waiting for an order, which I really screwed up. Yeah, that was kind of weird. In position. Okay. What about if we get both of these guys to kind of do the same thing? Can we... You know what? Can we select both of them? No. Okay. Well, I want him to move... There. Let's move this guy around the back. Got it. I got it. No tangos. Oh, he's behind cover. Actually, alright, let's make this guy strafe, right? So, control and right click. No, no, I want him to face this way. Then I want him to move this way. Okay, so he got destroyed. <laughs> now, we know there's a guy in here. Okay. Over there, so if we flashbang. Flash alright, then we'll come in. I really want you to attack that guy. <laughs> oh my god. That was terrible. I don't know what I was trying to do. I was trying to like move the guy. No, no. I can't continue if I can't even do this mission. I was trying to move the guy to attack that guy. Uh, obviously, you don't do that. Because they attack the way they're facing. Alright, so we know there's a guy sort of in there again. Okay, well he spotted him. I don't think we, we took that guy out, did we? Okay, awesome. We'll get in. So I think we're... On target. On it. <laughs> it's, it's really taking quite a lot of effort for me to do this. It's surprisingly difficult, you know, guys, to actually talk your way through tactical games like this um, and also focus on the situation. So we know there's a guy there. Was there a guy there? But there's a guy here and there's a guy there. So... Uh... On it. No! Oh, you stupid git. 
I should use the planning phase as well. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to throw a flashbang in... No, not there. We're going to throw a flashbang there. And he's going to throw his flashbang there. Right? This should take absolutely everybody out. Then, I want him in there. And I want him covering there. And I want him in there. And I want him covering there. Right? So this should... I don't think I need orders for this because they're going to throw the flash and then move it. I hope. Okay? Right, do it, boys. Oh, no. Oh! <laughs> okay, so that was kind of dodgy because we sort of flashbanged ourselves. But it's a good job we're kind of immune to the flashbang, so that's okay. Hmm. Okay, let's continue. So, uh, mock-up apartment. Eliminate all terrorists. So, I think pretty much the same challenge things again, which is like we're never going to make that. Not on our first attempt anyway, because we don't know where they are. Like, you sort of need the intelligence on where they are. Oh, God, this looks more complicated. All right. So, no, what am I doing? I'm going to go that way. No, 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 game. I'm on. <laughs> He's just done a little detour. I should probably make him strafe as well. Okay. So, we know nobody's there. We know nobody's there. But somebody could be there and somebody could be there. Now, I guess the thing is, we don't really want to... Uh, Right, I should pause this as well so we don't spend ages doing the missions. Okay, so I want this guy to move in there. And I want him to look up there, but I wanted to do this on... No, we don't want to wait for clear. I want him to do it on alpha code because we want them both to do this. So then I want him to move in and I want him to look that way so we cover that. And I want him to do that on alpha. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Disaster. Ah, yes. This is the cover mechanic. Can you see that? how there's like a shield? In fact, let me pause this. See how there's like a shield? And there's like a little kind of like... Um, uh, what, what would that be? Like a crescent shape? Um, this indicates where you're going to get the protection from. So you can use cover. I think it absorbs 50%, it said, of, of bullet fire in the tutorial. Okay. <laughs> so this guy can just dance. No. No. Get over there. <laughs> Okay. Uh, that was bad. I keep forgetting I'm in actual, like I'm in play mode. So, uh, this room, we don't know what's in there. Question is, do we... F mm. Oh. <laughs> okay. Oh, solid. He just took him out, capped him in the face, man. Oh, baby. Um. All right. So. Okay. I've got. I've got to stop doing that. Like, I'm not planning my path out very well, because I'm like. Dude, that was bad as well. I'm like deciding where to go, like, uh, and then it messes the path up. It's like Jesus Christ. Get no. Oh my God. Get over there. Oh, well, well, that was beautiful. <laughs> All right. Let's see if we can get these guys actually doing this at the same time. So, well. Oh, whatever. Just run in. <laughs> yeah, highly tactical. Uh, all right. All right. Well, you know what? Let's flashbang because we've got loads of flashbangs. And I want you to flashbang the other. No. I want you to flashbang there. Get rid of that. Go. Go. Flash out. All right. Now I want you to move into there, and I want you to move into there. Go. Ho. Oh. Yeah. Good job. We're done here. So that was very rough. <laughs> rough and ready. Okay. Clear hostiles. I guess they're the same. I'm not even going to bother checking them. Okay. Let's do this. Oh, this is entry methods now. So drag a path through the door. Choose entry method. No contact. So that's not dragging a path, ladies and gentlemen. So we'll just go and die. Oh, well, I say that. Is he going to kill them all? What the? Good job. 
Uh, yeah, no, I want to restart that one. <laughs> that guy was a fucking hero. Yeah, so I kind of didn't drag through the thing there. Okay. So drag a path through the door. Okay, so use the spy camera, kick the door in, throw a flashbang, or plant breaching charges. Well, let's use the spy camera. <laughs> yeah, this is quite nice. So we know there's two, three guys there. So we need to flashbang those guys. And shoot that guy. So I say, <laughs> I quite like this. So I say, you. Roger. Ooh, hang on, hang on, hang on. No, oh my God. I always screw that up. I don't want to do that, but he's going to do it regardless now. All right, so if, if he, let's say, if this guy breaches the door with a flashbang, yeah, and he chucks it over there, that's, this is what I wanted to do originally, and then he does not do a stupid jig. He simply walks in like that. Well, actually, maybe he can just walk towards the guy and shoot him. And then I want him to get into cover. This guy... I want him to run straight into cover after he's flashbanged. Flash that was that was bad again. Let's do that again. Although we seem to still do it, so okay, right. These guys are moving in. Let's check to make sure they're in the same place again. Yeah, so three guys and him. All right. Okay, so what I want you to do is flashbang, and I want you to flashbang them. Go. Flash out. Right, the flash has actually gone in this time. I want you to run into there. Okay. Then I want you to run there. And I want you to go straight into there. Okay. This is what I wanted in the first place. Do it. Oh, 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 yeah. The satisfaction of actually getting it right is like, oh, my God. Okay, well, we go again. Where do we go now? All right, uh, Mozart Street apartment. Okay, ooh, eliminate all terrorists, but two guys, we're not sure. Use only one trooper. Uh, mm, that Maybe they're like hostages or something. Oh, okay, so now we've got the deploy thing. Can I deploy more? Oh, no, we've only got two deploy areas, okay. All right, so first... Yeah, no, no. Okay, we're fine. All right, first thing we need to do is this. We need to find out what's in there. All right? You move up. Well. Uh, I thought this guy was... Oh, for fucking God. He... It's not... Oh, he's injured. but he... Oh, he got shot by, like, an assault rifle. No wonder. Okay. Go on, win, win, win. Love it. <laughs> Good God. They're both heavily injured. So, let's chuck some flashes about. Or well, let's not. You see, you see, like, oh, I don't want to throw the flash. Fuck. How do you not give an order? It, it doesn't. Uh. Good job. We're done here. Yeah. <laughs> There must be a way of not, not cancelling the flash. I just can't work it out. Apologies if it's absolutely, you know, blatantly obvious. So I think this means there could possibly be additional tan a tangos, but the there also may not be, because we didn't kill that many in that round. Okay. Whoa, this is getting more complicated. All right, so what I want to do... No, 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 pause the bloody game. I want you to use that. Okay, you may as well breach. On target. Let's see if we can kind of plan ahead. And it's going to be hard not knowing where the guys are, but 
we need to check this room, yeah? So let's pause it, right? I want you to check that room. I want you to move there. Then I want you to move there, but face there, right? Then I want you to go straight into this room, okay? Then I want you to go straight into this room. <laughs> it's almost like a hotline Miami as well, isn't it? But you, you kind of... You get given a chance to order the thing instead of just running and blast like on Hotline. But I think you can you can pause the game quite on Hotline now. It's been, it's been ages since I've played it. I think you can. But obviously, that's a different control scheme. Anyway, let's see what this does. Th this looks kind of complicated. <laughs> so we lost a man because uh, there were two guys in this room. <laughs> Oh, nice. So that, that one of these doors opened, but he managed to pick him off. Okay, well, this guy's injured, so let's uh, chuck an emergency flash. And follow it in. Follow it in, son. Follow it in. Nice. Get in the cover. Okay. That, uh, let's go into the kitchen. Well, well, the pantry, whatever that is. <laughs> oh, God, somebody's on a phone. Uh, all right, so I think... Well, we're not really going to be able to see much from that, are we? Oh, no, we can, because it's obviously bloody... Um, what's it called? What's it called, ladies and gentlemen? You know what it's called. A fiber optic thing. <laughs> Like, were they using the rock? Okay, so the, there's a tango there. We want to breach like that. Oh, it looks like he, he was following in the breach there. <clears throat> okay. I really like this game. Obviously, I'm totally... but I'm like, <laughs> the way I'm doing it is not the best. Let's do this mission and see if we've got enough to actually buy stuff for the guys. So, clear hostiles. Same thing again. I don't know what... I'm sure that question mark thing means there could be a guy there. Or there might not. Holy shit. You know what? Let's deploy all the troops. Uh, oh, we can only have two for this mission. Oh, okay. Two of two. But we can enter from different sides. So I say we enter there. And we enter here. <laughs> No, that's probably the worst place to enter. Oh, no, is it? I don't know. Yeah, it probably is. But but that's what we're doing, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> All right, so first things first. These guys need to get that on the go. Okay, what can we see? All right, hostile. Okay, well, we know that guy's turned his back, so he can go in there and drill the shit out of him. This guy's looking straight at us, so we are going to... Flashbang entry. Okay, and he should just follow in as soon as he does it. Oh, there was two tangos in there. Okay, so this wasn't the best move. Because he turned around as soon as the door was kicked. Because I thought, oh yeah, we could get him on the stealth kind of thing. But I mean, how are you going to do that if he's just going to turn around? You know, he's got ears, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, well, let's uh, check these rooms. Hostile inside. Okay, a hostile. Right, two guys in there. Hostile inside. Man down. Okay, that's bad. So, <laughs> we left ourselves exposed and we got absolutely smashed. And he kind of has the flashbangs. This is our last flashbang, so it's going to be much more difficult. I think we're going to get hit from behind. Okay, maybe not. Alright, well, what I'm going to do is use a breach in charge. And fucking blow him away. Will this blow him away? Surely this will blow the guy away. Okay. Oh, where's it gone? Ah, oh, there we go. We have to be close to it. Go on! Oh, shit! 
So there's somebody else left somewhere. Oh god. Did I just hear a door open? <laughs> I need... Oh my god. Alright, so there's nobody down there. Is it, oh, this guy's not injured either, so I can kind of be a bit reckless with him, maybe? It must be this room, you know. I think it's this room. All right, let's let, let let's uh okay. let's use that on the door there. Oh no, of course we haven't even been in the this room, have we? Okay. Uh, okay. Hostile in sight. All right, so there's the guy. I don't know whether the breach in charge is going to affect him. We can't do it anyway. I think we just need to go in, but he's got an assault rifle. It could this this could potentially be? We can't actually do the mission. Okay, well I say we just rush the guy. Okay. <laughs> That's all we can do. Uh. Yeah, cancel. Wait, what? Get in there and waste the guy. Here we go. I the mission was a failure. Oh dear. Well, I tell you what. Let's see if we can actually buy anything without. I mean, we've done a few missions there. Shockingly bad. Oh yeah, we've got ten. Okay, awesome. So, can we rename these guys? Oh my god. Oh my god. We totally can. Oh my god. Mental. If you guys have been watching our XCOM series of old, you'll know what this is. Who these guys are. Uh. Big winner. Love it. Alright, so I can buy stuff for this guy. So it looks like they've got different stats and stuff. So this that's got a hell of a lot of stopping power. Silencer could be good for taking people out on the sly. Oh god. Are you, but probably better body up body armor's probably better. <laughs> Yeah, let's buy, let's buy the body armor. Okay, so he's got better armor now. So he's more of a... More of a point man than he was before. <laughs> well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to leave it at that. This is door kickers. And as you can see... You can see by what I've showed you the way the game's going to go. It's going to get more and more and more complicated. And once you get to level 6 through doing these missions, you should be able to then start playing the campaign. But I guess the campaign's just going to be more of the same. Like, loads of these different types of missions. I think it's the sort of thing that would be interesting to sort of compare your high scores with your friends and stuff, so you can do it the fastest and things like that. I think it's pretty good, guys. It's available on Steam right now, and in the UK, it's $14.99, so... I don't know, I think that's fairly priced. It does seem quite polished to me, and obviously it's got all of the uh, Steam Workshop stuff and, and whatever. But let me know what you think about this in the comments below, guys. I think it's pretty good. So this has been Door Kickers, and I've been Stylosa, and this is Unit Lost. If you like the video, guys, then like the video and all that good stuff, and I'll catch you next time. Toodaloo.